It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. Jeff Grove from GamesBeat.com and put on my glasses. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? This is something wrong here. Oh, oh, wait, there we go. In my original Xbox Series X video, which you could find right up here, I had this clip, this, this short segment where I showed the transfer speeds of, of moving, game, uh, moving Assassin's Creed Origins from the internal storage onto a USB SSD or a USB hard drive. Um, and then I showed the loading test as well. Uh, all this was, was with, with Assassin's Creed Origins. I remembered though, I have an NVMe enclosure. So what I did is I got a drive, a, a drive I had laying around. I got it plugged in to see if it worked. And the Xbox recognized it. it was like, hey, yeah, do you want to use this for games? Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do here is uh, you should still be seeing the clip of, of the original thing. Let's go ahead and speed that up. And now I did a new test um, where since the, uh, the Xbox got an update, I wanted to run a, a new test for, for both the internal storage and then this. You can see that it's about as fast as the USB SSD was. So I think what we're seeing here clearly is that the USB 3.1 generation two and then whatever USB controller, controller they're using is the bottleneck here. Uh, Cause the, MVM, the external NVMe isn't any faster than an external SATA drive probably. That's probably what this is, right? SATA, you think? I guess it, it probably just doesn't matter because the USB is gonna be the bottleneck no matter what. Uh, your options for loading a, a, an Xbox Series X game are still as limited as ever. You're gonna have to use the internal storage, but if you want to move stuff speedily around from that internal storage to external storage, you have options there. You can use your SATA drive. I'm pretty sure a SATA uh, drive connected to a USB uh, adapter, which I have that adapter, but I don't want to take a drive out of a computer right now. So I'm not going to use that, um, but I'm sure it'll work, especially if this NVMe enclosure worked. But if you have something like that laying around, you can use that instead of going out and buying the Seagate drive here, this SS SSD Seagate drive or a Samsung drive, which are pretty expensive if you if you get the the ones of, of the SSD persuasion. So I think this is good though. Uh, I mean, at least like the bottleneck is the USB now. That's to me that's the really good sign. That's um that's really nice. I think I think this kind of does it for the storage testing though. I'm not sure what else we can do here. If you have any ideas about things you want to see tested, let me know. So then what next? Uh, what else should I test here? Um, I'm gonna just kind of keep at this. Uh, there's still only certain things I could talk about. I will be able to talk about a lot more. Like these embargoes are in place to actually help us. It gives us a chance to make sure that we really get a lot of time uh, before we feel rushed to write these things. So, you know, there's about 15 to 17 people that have these systems by my count um, at these preview systems. And I feel like, oh, I got to make sure that I am competing with them to, to make sure that I'm keeping interesting content coming. Uh, but what this embargo is doing is it's enabling me to focus on the stuff we're allowed to talk about. I can get re really granular with this coverage, like something like this. And then when the next embargo expires, we'll be able to talk about a lot more. And I'll, I will have had ample time to form my opinions, to form the coverage. And then again, we'll go granular at that, at that time about the stuff I could talk about then. But yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I think, I think that's going to do it. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter at Jeff Grubb or email me jeff.grubb at venturebeat.com. And you could always check out the written version of my coverage on gamesbeat.com. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.